Rural Mission is a place of peace, a place where you can be free to be yourself. It's a place that God has endowed for his children. So here we are still addressing the needs of poor families or indigenous families who have no one else to look after them, especially the elderly, and living in really homes that no one should be living in. Rural Mission wants to continue the mission of reaching out to people, giving them a hand up, and doing something about their conditions. It's actually our spring break right now, so for a week we're coming down here, we're gonna do work on the houses, um, try to do some good during our spring break, because a lot of us don't really have much else to do, and it's just a really rewarding experience to come down here. Um, you know, we get to see a whole new culture that we're completely not used to. We get to, you know, help some people out, do work on their houses, and it's really the most rewarding thing ever to meet the person whose house, is your, whose house you're working on and, like, have them say thank you. It is a really great feeling, so. Um, I have known about it and heard about Rural Mission over the years and other people, what the good work that they have done for people of the low country. Um, I feel like after I be become a certain age and I said, well, well, maybe one day they can do something for me. I went down there and did an application within two years and today um, they are here. So on this house, the other day first we ripped off all the shingles on the roof because they were old and starting to come off. And then we retarred the roof and then after they're done with that, we're gonna put on new shingles. So it'll be basically a brand new roof. Um, on top of that, there were two staircases that were kind of rotting and not very safe to walk on. So we ripped up the old wood from those staircases and then we're building two new ones. And in addition to that, we're also repainting the entire house to you know, kind of spruce it up a bit. Rural Mission is a good resort because it do help the low country. Um, for many, many years, even before I really get involved with them. I see the, the, how they go to out to outreach different area and help all the people. And I, I have seen on TV that people houses is down on the ground and then they raise people house up. And like my house, my house had need a, a new lift and they, and they are giving that to me today. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. Sometimes you have to go completely out of your comfort zone so instead of going like 10 minutes from home or something, coming all the way down here, we're completely out of our comfort zone and we're doing something we're not used to at all. And I think there's a lot more to take from being in a different environment and a different community. I think it's beautiful. I think Rural Missions does an incredible job of um, looking, like just being self-aware and looking at its own community and finding ways to fix that and bringing other people who can benefit from being in this community to help their own community. My mobile home was in real, real bad condition. They decided that they're gonna build me a house and every day, every morning, a group was here. Finally, Jesus, I thank you, Lord. This is my home, that rural mission, the volunteers, rural mission staff, and everybody, and the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, that's who gave it to me. Nobody else but Jesus. Our house was destroyed in the fire, and um, Rural Mission came through, helping us, giving us a helping hand, you know, showing um, the support and the love that they have for helping people, and we truly do appreciate it. Uh, it was a blessing. It was a blessing for them to come out. It was, it was the only people that was here to help us during this hard time. I just want to thank them. I want to thank Rural Mission for me helping us and helping everybody else that they have came out and helped out with the helping hand and the loving heart that they have. Um, I decided to, to do a mission trip um, for my spring break, so I just enjoy, I enjoy mission trips, I enjoy helping out. I guess I, I like it because I get to build friendships with the people I'm working with. Um, like I said, it's fulfilling, helping, helping, other, helping the person who needs it, um, and I'm doing what God's called me to do. Rural mission from infancy was the baby of the United Methodist Church. But the interesting thing was, is that Rural Mission went national first with the Board of Global Ministries in 1969, and it took like some 20 plus years later 
for it to become a project under the South Carolina Conference of the United Methodist Church. Therefore, we started getting volunteers from the Midwest, from the North, and all over the country coming here when people in South Carolina didn't know that Rural Mission exists. Rural Mission is also one of the five projects of the United Methodist Women in South Carolina, and we are proud to have that relationship with the United Methodist Women here in South Carolina. So many people's lives have changed over the years where people were living in some of the worst conditions. They are now in a quality built home that the water is not pouring in on them, it's not cooler on the inside than it is on the outside. Um, their lives have changed to the point where they want to help somebody else, and that means a lot. The major support in these economic downturns is to put us in your budget because we're depending on you to help us with the financial aspect of the budget to operate. The other thing major of volunteers wanting to help and do help to make a difference in the lives of people's homes especially. And anytime that a group wants to come, we welcome you to come to help making a change in somebody's life.